what I call, this is what I call dyslexic audio. This is how I listen to audio most of the time. This is what wouldn't blow up earlier. Because apparently, dyslexic audio is not loud. Except that this is how I've heard sound for years. 1965 is when I first heard this. trying to fire up but it's hardly moving the filament simply because that is main front mono bass and with dyslexic audio there is no front channel <laughs> most of it's in the back and the rear there you go there's 10 channel surround sound in dyslexic audio 10 channel surround sound in dyslexic audio you said yeah, right. You can't even get the bass going forwards in that. Yeah, yeah, right, wrong. The reason mainly that mono front doesn't come to its vogue is that to get mono front both the right and the left channels have to be exactly firing together on the same frequency the same channel the same audio signal any cancellation between those acting channels for any reason completely annihilates the front channel that one and that one and therefore partly the central combination of the three is also down by at least a third so therefore only two thirds of the maximum possible is attainable and therefore that one doesn't light that often either but that's the right hand channel or the left hand channel in my system there, which pulls this one and that one from that channel, that way, whereas that channel pulls this way and that way, and because this is a dead channel, it's not coming this way or this way as much as it should, it's certainly not coming this way, mostly it's coming that way. Anyway, that's um, Asperger's Autism dix, Dyslexia. Kleinfelter's syndrome, um, a mixture of other weird genetic malfunctions that I have in my system, and what I call audio dyslexia, because I can actually hear this whole song perfectly in a forwards direction. When that plays for you, <laughs> completely bollocksed wrong. See? You see, in dyslexic wide mode, not only do I get front channel in one of those, no.
This is the main front mono, where all the so-called instrumental bass and the boy yuppies have their doop 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 going. But that's rare surround. That's all those channels. Those five there. Whereas these five here, one, two, three, four, five, predominantly mono front. That's what your normal Dolby 5 channel, 5.1, 3.1, it, it's only one, two channels, the mono between the two, a vague reference between them, and a, and a sum of the whole lot coming out through that fifth one as your subby. See, that does work. This is a central channel of the whole lot. Yeah, we would go to a silent piece, wouldn't we? Hey, come on. Not mono tries to work, and if I wanted to work it, I'd blow all the other bones. channels around sound <laughs> uh, and who said I was a crazy one <laughs> I can hear that perfectly how okay, can you can't okay 10 channels around sound dyslexic wide mode <laughs> and they said it could not be done across a two channel Three and a half mil plug lead feed in. Well, I can tell you, bullshit. <laughs> And that is fed from an, a half, three and a half mil feed from one of these really, really silly ass bloody amplifiers. It's only a seven watt amplifier, mind. And it's fed out of the headphone socket of that stereo, which picks up the audio feed from that three and a half mil socket. <laughs> and you reckon I'm nuts? I work with analog surround sound. I have done since 1965, and I work with it my way. Which means I'm the only person in the world with this strange affliction called beautiful music. Want to come and join my world? <laughs> You've got to be slightly K underscore R A Y underscore Z, all in capitals, Google, Google that word, uppercase, hit the caps lock button and do a Google search on K underscore R-A-Y underscore Z, you'll find a really, 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 really dyslexic wide mode, intermingled, 
dual direction quad mode 56 channel uh, 52 sorry 52 channel simultaneously working around about the nine minute mark I can karaoke it I bet you can not